Bon dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, also known as the guy that went all into Bitcoin ever after selling everything he owned with his family. Now we are traveling already four years around this beautiful world, discovering the Bitcoin adoption all over the place and checking how the community is growing all over the world. And all of this while we try to support all the poor people that we meet during our travel. And yes, we share our wealth and we share the wealth that we accumulate by doing these YouTube videos, etc. Guys, now four years later, coming to you from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, guys, of course, bombing you with two really cool Bitcoin jobs that are showing you exactly where we are heading with Bitcoin. Yes, now in the short term, but also in the long term. Also talking about the Didi Bam Bam indicator again and sharing with you guys how we made again a shitload of profit in yesterday's call of the Didi Bam Bam indicator before this insane run of Bitcoin yesterday. And in the blockchain slash news part guys, we will talk about Australia, about Mexico and about some scammers that are now facing jail time because they scammed a huge amount of people in the 2017 period. One of them of course was Bitconnect. Enjoy today's video guys. She has a high, high score of like, how much was it? 20? 23,330. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. Bam! I, I will beat you. But I haven't beaten her yet. She's like, fuck it. Amazing! <laughs> yeah, you are. I can't beat the high score. I will go and record a video again. What? Do I need to be silent again? Ah. Yes, he's doing school. Yeah. He's highly concentrated, yeah. like you can see. Let's take the bag. I will keep trying and trying and trying because I'm going to beat her high score of 23,000. I almost want to say 23,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. That's not the high score. The high score is on Pac-Man, 23,000. I'm going to beat it, but I will show you, man, that I don't have time because I'm filming, editing, and doing all the stuff, trading, building communities. So, you know, I just don't have as much as time as them to practice on Pac-Man, but I still will beat their high score. I will do it. I will beat it. But see man, I am not able to break this Pac-Man record of Roman. One who beat her man. I need to beat the 23,000 Pac-Man high score because I want to be the number one in this Pac-Man game. Maybe I will beat her when Bitcoin goes a little bit more higher like 18k or 20k and then I will beat her high score because I'm feeling like yeah then and then you know you get this extra energy and focus in this Pac-Man game. The other thing I want to talk about is that Julie found a friend here on Lagos, really cool. It's a French girl from Paris. Um, they are staying here for a couple of months. They are the so same age and they have the same mindset. So now they can, you know, hang out with each other on the beach, go into the town, what, which they of course yesterday already did. And I love it because that's what Julie is ne needing at the moment. You know, she needs social contact with all these other pubers, you know, to talk about shit that they don't want to talk about with their dad. By the way, if you ever come in Lagos here in Portugal, you need to go and eat a fish soup in this restaurant because it's an amazing fish soup. It's called Berlim. I just noticed that you don't like the long videos because yesterday's video was like 26 minutes and it only got like 2k views because I created content that was a little bit too long for you guys. I think it was very interesting content and of course my videos are a little bit longer than the other Bitcoin YouTubers because I also show live. Guys, I visited this beautiful place yesterday 
and that part of the video took like 15 minutes to show you how I caught these animals on the beach and all that stuff I cannot skip that part because that is the most important part for me for me it's about zooming out in Bitcoin zooming in at life and the only way I can show you is by leading by example and showing you that I'm not behind the computer and the charts all day I am enjoying life that's what we as family should do the numbers yesterday told me stop making these long videos Didi. you're not going to watch your ugly face 26 minutes a day <laughs> so let's jump now into the Bitcoin TA part guys where I will bomb you with amazing charts that will show you the direction of Bitcoin this part BAM of course guys celebrating that Bitcoin just surpassed 18k first time since three years guys it was three years ago that Bitcoin went higher than 18k depending on which exchange you look but the all-time high is around 20k and we are now only 2k away from breaking that previous all-time high that's time to celebrate Bitcoin so let's take a look where we are heading now with Bitcoin if it depends on this chart this one BAM this is a one day chart on which you can see the Fibonacci maybe I pronounce it right now the Fibonacci like an Italian way Fibonacci that we drew from the all-time high of 20k to the bottom in 2019 around 3k at the moment we are at the 0.786 level we even broke that level already so the next level to be reached would be the 1.0 level guys if we reach this level there will be a pullback I just don't believe we can go from 17k to 18k to 20k to 30k in one pool that would be a huge green candle I can't believe this um, I don't think that this is going to happen so in my opinion yes we can read this 20k level maybe with a wick or something just so that we created a new all-time high but again a warning guys I think we will see a very healthy pullback that can be between 20 and 40 percent guys so yes that can bring us back to 16k to 15k even to 14k and like you can see guys on this weekly chart this one BAM on this weekly chart you can see that we are like the all-time high was around 19,700 the previous one and if you look to the right of this chart you can see this volume indicator and above 17k guys there is no volume this means there is no resistance this means that we can easily go from 17k to 18k to 19k to 20k because there is no resistance yes there will be a pullback but the way up is the easy way because there is not a lot of resistance over there I think like 99% of the Bitcoin holders are in profit at the moment so that is why there is no resistance and yes they will take profit somewhere guys because they know the market cycle and the market cycle always moves up and down up and down so be aware again also this chart showing very positive that we can go higher but there will be a pullback in the near future guys I'm getting crazy with my hair guys wait I will tie it together one second that is more easy with the wind and it's very windy today yes now I look like Winnetou the Indian I know comment below Winnetou <laughs> that's how they called my father when he was still playing professional soccer and there was this radio guy that uh, I think it was called Theo Komen and, and he called my father Winnetou and Winnetou because my father had long hair and he was one of the first dark like Moluccan football players in, in, the, in the Netherlands with long hair so then he comes eh, Winnetou is running again because he was really fast um, so yeah that's why I said Winnetou <laughs> why are you sharing this the video is going to be too long again stop it I can't guys check this chart this chart I already shared yesterday in the Bitcoin family discord server of course yes that is where I always share the charts a little bit more early because that's the family the family is in the discord server they own family tokens and that's why they all get a preview on these charts and even chat on these charts with me and the other team members guys so yes check this DD Bam Bam chart BAM this one guys is showing you that we could reach 20k also in the end of this month if we keep moving inside this channel that you can see this very beautiful colorful channel then yes we could reach 20k at the end of this month so also this DD Bam Bam chart is indicating 20k is definitely possible and that's why I shared yesterday with the community on the discord server guys if I need to believe this chart I will do a long on Bitcoin based on this day chart with a leverage of between 4 and 10 just depending on which level will keep the liquidation below 14k 
playing it very safe here because it's a day shot and I want to be in it for the long term. So I need to have a low liquidation level of 14K. So I did a long yesterday with a leverage of five. Yes, and it will take a long time, this leverage. But if we would reach 20K, guys, that long would be a very nice profit over there. Even if it is just with a leverage of four or five or six, still profit. And the take profit, I set around 19,900 and I think it was 45 instead of 50. But I set a take profit at 9,950. And yes, of course, when we move above 18K and 19K, I will start to use a trailing stop loss of like 100 or 200 US dollar. So yes, that if we reach the peak while I'm sleeping and it falls down, it is taking my profit automatically. That's why I share these charts in the Discord server to educate people and to help them with making some Bitcoins. And if we zoom a little bit more out to this chart, guys, and we are going to take a look at the long term, long term like the end of this year 2020 then you can see that this range in this channel on the chart is ending somewhere between 23 and 27 thousand US dollar per Bitcoin on the 31st of December in 2020 so yes these bam bam charts are indicating to me that 20k could be easily reachable maybe the end of this month but if we can even take it to 23 to 27k at the end of this year really positive view on Bitcoin but always be aware no one knows i don't have a glass ball this is only when we keep moving inside the channel if we move outside the channel we can as easily drop all the way back down to 10,500 us dollar or even 9,000 us dollar to fill the cme gap whatever guys it is all possible in bitcoins that's why you need to watch the charts or have the dd bam bam indicator watch them for you and sending you some signals hey you need to sell now or you need to buy now I'm turning around guys because I will keep the video short so I did was about like 8 minutes or 10 minutes and I will walk back to the next 10 minutes and talk about the rest of the video. Talking about the DD Bam Bam indicator guys giving you signals when to buy and when to sell or when to go long or when to go short. Talking about the Bam Bam indicator let's see the profit we made yesterday. Check this job. Bam! At 9.30 yesterday morning there was a long signal. You can see the two green arrows down below on the chart that were the two possible entry points. One of those arrows, the blue line crossing the red line or the blue line crossing the white line, one of those indications told you to long Bitcoin from that moment. You can see in the top of the chart this green flag long. This is the moment we could have gone long. At one o'clock there was a short flag. Did we go short at that moment? No. Why not? We can see the brown area was pretty flat and we can see in the white line in the bottom of the chart that was around 60 that there was a lot of support and no downwards pressure and never when we are in this huge bull runs guys we short we just always wait mostly these red flags then um, indicate a consolidation phase before we go up again at that point guys i did put my trailing stop loss and from the moment that i put my trailing stop loss you can see what happened because at 6 o'clock in the evening, that's like 5 hours later, we were way much higher with Bitcoin. So the long call from the morning, 9.30, to all the way up to 6 o'clock, when the red flag of shorting the market appeared. The trailing stop loss moved up with this. You can, do, you can put a trailing stop loss on Bybit, by the way. If you don't know how, comment down below the video and I will try to tell you. And if you don't have a Bybit account, then please sign up using my referral link because you then get a $90 bonus. I think they even have a higher bonus at the moment. Check it out. I don't know the details exactly. But at that point at six o'clock yesterday, my trade got stopped out because the trailing stop loss moves along with the price. And then when it peaks down and it did peak down, bam, my stop loss was triggered and I took profit at that moment. So that's not bad guys, because the stop loss is protecting you to these crazy moves of Bitcoin. So at six o'clock guys, yes, my trailing stop loss was hit yes it went down below the level and that's where my profit was taken of course i kept watching the market because i was really exciting i even poured the rum like oh, bitcoin is going up bitcoin is going up i'm getting happy then of course yes there is excitement and then around 11 o'clock again a long signal appeared on the dd bam bam chart at 11 o'clock again i took this long signal because you can see the green arrows at the bottom that are indicated again the line crossing over the red or the white line and yes that's an indication that it will be a long flag and yes when you're moving above this yellow stepping line that would be an official long and that's when we take the long and yes when i went to bed i was still in this long position 
Bitcoin went up while I was sleeping. Of course, before going to bed, guys, I set the trailing stop loss because I don't want to lose. I just want to make profit. So the trading stop loss moved up with uh, Bitcoin all the way up, I think to this morning, six o'clock or something, when this trailing stop loss got hit as well. And again, a shitload of profit because I didn't fall all the way down to 17,200 with this wig. No, my trading stop loss was hit around 18,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Bam, you get out of the market automatically when you sleep. So while you sleep, you take profit. You know what it is? It's such a safe feeling to go into bed with this trading stop loss and wake up and seeing you made profit while you sleep. And yes, I know a lot of people will say now, yeah, but Didi, if you don't use the trading stop loss, uh, you know, maybe you woke up and Bitcoin would have been 20K, you would have had more profit. Yes, that's the greed talking to you guys. Why more profit? Be happy with the profit you make. There will be another bus coming by and you can take that other bus, referring to another trade again and again and again. Just be happy with the profit you have and don't feel sad of the profit you didn't have. You know, it's better to take a little bit profit than to regret not having a stop loss and losing all your profit while you sleep. And if you want to hear numbers, guys, I will tell you numbers. If you would have traded with one Bitcoin with a leverage of 10, with a trailing stop loss, your profit yesterday would have been 20,000 US dollar. I don't know who is going to play with one Bitcoin. I'm not playing with one Bitcoin, but if you would have done it with one Bitcoin, you could have made profit around 20k guys but that's how the diddy bam bam game you get it works it is showing you exactly the moments to go long or short that was all the charts for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the charts let's jump into the blockchain slash news part yes accelerating because i want to finish this video and i want to make a short video because i'm losing views on youtube bam i just read an article about the second richest man from mexico the second richest man from mexico try to say that when you drink the second richest man from mexico after a few rum <laughs> but this guy or tequila because you know we are talking about mexico but this guy is the second rich man of mexico he is the 166th richest man from the world this guy yesterday said i invested 10 percent of my complete portfolio into bitcoin another billionaire following up all the other billionaires into bitcoin yes bitcoin is slowly turning into a rich man's tool like i said in a few videos before already and it's making these rich people even more richer like filthy 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 rich and not with a negative taste i do think this is the expression filthy rich in a positive way because i hope these people will also realize that when they have such a pile of money that they need to share it with all the people and poor people and the, most of these billionaires guys they also do good for the world they invest in charities and all that stuff so for me guys it's okay when these rich people get even more rich guys they are taking a risk as well only with 10 percent of their portfolio I would put in like 100% of the portfolio, <laughs> but, but who am I? <laughs> I'm not the 106 richest man of the world. This guy is, and he is supporting Bitcoin all, and he's calling all his friends now in Mexico. Alejandro, ale, Alejandro, ale, ole, ole. I don't know how you speak Mexican, but something, it always sounds like this. Uh, yeah, and he's telling all his friends in Mexico, andale, andale, andale. you need to buy Bitcoin, you need to buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is going to save you from the fiat, because cash money is silly. Cash money is going to disappear. Uh, cash money is worth this. Bitcoin is the new gold of the 21st century. Handle, 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 buy Bitcoin. Something like this, I think. That will be the phone uh, conversation between him and his Mexican other rich people. Maybe there are a few more rich Mexicans. Maybe the richest man of Mexico is also a friend of him. Yes, is that not the guy with the telephone company? He is calling with his telephone the owner of this huge Mexican telephone company to tell him to buy Bitcoins with his telephone. That would be the most funniest video ever. And two other short news the items I read this morning were about scamming. There was one Australian guy that was promoting BitConnect. You know the one BitConnect from uh, Hey, 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 that one? Yeah. This guy is now facing two to ten years jail time because he promoted BitConnect. I think he even worked for BitConnect in 2017, 18. So I think he will not be saying Hey, hey, hey very often at the moment. This guy will, will sadly spend some time behind the prison bars guys um, there was another guy in the united states that was also um, chased by the fbi and all these uh, police officers onto a lake where he was driving with a jet ski he tried to escape on a lake with a jet ski i don't know where you want to try to escape on a lake yeah you can 
drive circles, so in my opinion, not the most smartest move to try to escape from uh, from the police, you know, with a jet ski on the lake. Yeah, uh, open sea, man, I could have understand that, you know, or fly away with a helicopter, I could understand that, but like on the lake with a jet ski. <clears throat> he scammed the people for 35 million and he couldn't afford a private jet or a helicopter. He could only afford a jet ski and use the jet ski to escape from the police. He didn't succeed by the way. This police also had I think jet skis or boats or something like this. And again it was a lake. So it wouldn't that wasn't that easy, difficult. Um, they arrested him and he is also facing jail time guys. I think he can get up to 20 years of jail time because he scammed like 35 million dollars out of the pockets of a lot of people in this world. And that was everything for today guys. I hope I succeeded in creating a shorter video so that I get a little bit more views again today. But I want to thank you for every minute you watch my videos guys. And please guys, if you did like this video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment. And always remember guys to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. You need to try and enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. Thank you for watching this video today again. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. And hopefully you're looking forward to the first episode that we are going to bring out next Friday with Gokstein Media because I think it's going to be a kick-ass episode, guys. So make sure you follow the tweets of David Gokstein and Gokstein Media as well and my tweets because yes, there I will announce what time the video will go live on Friday. Thanks for watching today, guys. Have an amazing day, enjoy your life, and see you tomorrow again. Bye.